Welcome to week three. By now you should be well aware of the benefits and challenges of using technology-enabled learning, aware of the models used to make sure technology and pedagogy work together, and know some of your fellow participants. This week starts by defining open education resources. An open education resource is defined as a digital, self-contained unit of self-assessable teaching with an explicit, measurable learning objective, having an open license clearly attached to allow adapting and generally being free of cost for reuse. Generally, this means that educators can make use of OERs in their teaching practice if and when the teacher decides the materials are suitable for their teaching content. There is, however, challenges in accessing OERs, finding ones that are related to the curriculum you're teaching and, of course, are of suitable quality for use in the classroom. With access to the Internet, we can find OERs for almost any type and level of education, from K-12 to through to post-secondary education. OERs can also include resources for professional development and workplace training, as well as informal learning tools that might even include areas of personal interest or hobbies. OERs and open education in general provide endless opportunities for learners and an unprecedented base of resources for teachers. One way that we can begin to understand the challenges of OERs is to explore what other educators have identified as the key quality assurance for OERs. The TIPS framework for quality assurance criteria for teachers as authors of OERs is based on the findings of educational researchers and was validated by teachers as useful for themselves and other teachers. It provides a starting point for understanding OER material. The four layers of the TIPS framework relate to aspects of OER quality. T is for teaching and learning processes. I for information and material content, P for presentation, product, and format, and S for system, technical, and technology. While we don't have time in this course to fully explore the layers of the TIPS framework, or its 38 quality criteria, this is something you can refer to when you are searching, selecting, or even authoring OERs for your classroom. We encourage you to take a few minutes reviewing the TIPS framework PDF that we've provided for you. There is so much to learn about using OERs in technology-enabled learning. Remember to look at selected reading and the videos for content in this MOOC. Discussion is also key. Talk to your fellow participants in the forums. There's also opportunity to review and assess your learning. Enjoy.